if utilized, the GC cavity conditioner, a 10% polyacrylic acid, removes the smear layer and any contaminants while also providing additional micromechanical retention. The cavity conditioner is applied to the bonding surfaces using an applicator tip and allowed to dwell for 10 seconds and thoroughly rinsed with water and lightly air dried. It is important not to desiccate the dentin surface. It should appear moist with a glistening surface. A glass ionomer Fuji 9 GP Extra was selected for this restorative treatment. This system has eight shades. This wide variety of shades can provide an optimal color integration with tooth structure. Before activation, shake the glass ionomer capsule or tap its side on a hard surface to loosen the powder. To activate the capsule, push the plunger until it is flush within the main body. Immediately, place the capsule into a metal GC capsule applier and click the lever once. The capsule is now activated. The capsule should be activated just before mixing and used immediately. Immediately remove the capsule and set it into the high speed mixer and mix for 10 seconds. Auto mixing can provide a consistent, smooth mix with less voids than hand mixing while eliminating the potential for contamination. Immediately remove the mixed capsule from the mixer and load it into the GC applier. Make two clicks to prime the capsule and quickly deliver the applier to the mouth. The working time is 1 minute and 15 seconds from beginning of the mix. Place the Fuji 9 GP Extra capsule applicator tip to the base of the preparation and slowly extrude the material to the occlusal surface while removing the tip slowly. This technique prevents incorporation of voids. The material is condensed and the anatomical contours are developed using a curved instrument, a TINL-R by Brassner, to quickly and easily contour the occlusal planes. Next, a pyramidal shaped instrument, the Peter K. Thomas by Brassler, can be used to establish optimal anatomical contours. In three and one half minutes with the completion of the cement set, the occlusal contours and the restorative interface are refined with an eight micron tapered diamond burr under a water spray. The restorative interface is inspected with an 1112 Explorer to ensure marginal integrity. After finishing, Rinse with water and scrub with an applicator brush to remove any surface particles or contaminants and thoroughly air dry with a warm air tooth dryer by ADEC. A thin layer of self-adhesive G-Coat Plus by GC America is applied to all exposed glass ionomer surfaces and to adjacent tooth surfaces including the distal lingual fissure with a sable brush or a micro tip applicator and light cured for 20 seconds. The completed restoration. Notice the harmonious integration of this improved glass ionomer system with tooth structure. The proximal contacts are inspected for any residual resin coating using unwaxed floss. The dental dam is removed and the patient is placed in an upright position and the teeth are air dried. And the patient is asked to perform closure without force and then centric occlusion is performed and inspected for any prematurities. Next, the patient is asked to perform lateral and protrusive excursions and the restoration is inspected for prematurities. The completed bioactive restoration which is capable of arresting and eliminating the carious process. Advances in material science and technology have provided the 21st century clinician with the knowledge to transform the mechanical approach of operative dentistry into a biological philosophy, strategy, and design. In the past two years, there have been numerous studies ongoing in Europe to evaluate the clinical efficiency of Equia. And the initial evidence show very promising results. Although the long-term benefits of this self-adhesive system remain to be determined through long-term clinical studies, the recent findings suggest a promising future.